So people ask me what my best uh, metal detecting find is in three years. For three years I've been searching mainly parks, been to the beach uh, about 10 times. I haven't found more than 75 cents with my detector. But uh, one night down San Diego I was metal detecting and uh, it was near sunset and I was in the middle of a park and I dug up a laptop computer. It's an Asus and I'll also show you a picture of it. As you can see, the screen is really screwed up there and I was really hoping it would work, but um, the, the person just buried it straight with no bag or anything. They did, if, if they would have put it in a bag or something when they buried it, it would have lasted. And after I, uh, I was wondering if I could maybe salvage what's inside of it or the hard drive, but take a look at this here. Uh, I have no idea how long this was buried in the park, but um, I'll put a link in the description. The The computer is, was uh, pretty new and it was actually quite viable and if it was working it would have been a pretty awesome computer here. So I pulled the hard drive out and I was really hoping maybe I can get some clue about why this computer was buried. It's probably, uh, I, I want to imagine it's got to do with some kind of crime or something because why would someone bury a laptop and why wouldn't they try to protect it at least why wouldn't they put it in like a bag or something like if they would have put it in this bag here that it, it would have been fine even though it was buried and they could have got it later so you, you can see the hard drive is just totally screwed it wouldn't power on or anything so um i asked a bunch of co-workers who were all computer people and they suggested me what i should do is buy a duplicate drive and try to swap the contents. But the problem was, is uh, I bought the drive on eBay and it, it was very similar drive and it's all a lot of the same stats, but this uh, drive here is not the same. So I think if I ever get any hope of trying to salvage the hard drive here, you see what it's supposed to look like versus what it looks like there. I'd have to get the an exact copy of the hard drive and somehow transfer it to maybe see what's on it. Additionally, with the hard drive was a telephone. So it came in this case and uh, it's a Samsung phone and I was hoping I could maybe get something out of this thing too. So the battery had had it so I bought a battery on eBay and I tried to buy a charger for the battery but the charger was the wrong charger but I was able to use duct tape to try to get the battery charged. So I got all the charge and the most that happens with this phone is the edges of the screen turn, light up a little and the whole screen doesn't ever turn on. So I was also hoping to hook it up to a computer and here's a port here. So I got it hooked up to the computer but I can't get it to, I can get it to turn on but I can't get it to recognize on my computer or a couple other computers. So we're kind of left with the mystery about this whole thing. It's almost like somebody was trying to bury a computer very quickly. Like maybe there's something really disgusting on the hard drive. <laughs> or people su suggested maybe bitcoins or something. But um, it, it's been a mystery for about a year now. And uh, I haven't taken too many steps to solve the mystery. Um, I thought it, people su suggested maybe taking it to the police, but... I've asked all my police friends and they're not interested at all. They would just throw this away if they, if you gave it to them, they said. So will we ever solve the mystery of what, you know, why someone buried a telephone and a laptop? And, you know, it's really sad because this, this laptop is like pretty cool. It would have, you know, my, my daughter could have used it. It's got a touch screen and everything and it's a pretty decent computer. So it's pretty sad that someone just destroyed it like this. So um, I'm not going to give a listing of where the exact park is because I'm, I'm a, you know, if someone was trying to hide this, I didn't want to exactly tell people where the park I found it was and have those people hunt me down. There is a SIM card with the telephone and um, one option would be to maybe take it to T-Mobile. It's a T-Mobile phone and try to get them to track down the person but I don't know if I'd even want the person to 
get any of this back. Uh, the hard drive doesn't work and the phone doesn't work and and uh, there was no SD card in this thing. There's just a SIM card. So um, I don't know if we're ever going to solve the mystery of it. Um, but it's the most uh, interesting metal detecting find that I have so far. Everything else is pretty boring after finding something like this. Thanks for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe.